Welcome to the Muse Cage Basketball Network. You got two hands, Batty, use both of them. You got two hands, Batty, use both of them. You got two hands, Batty, use both of them. You're only half a player with one. You got two hands, better use both of them. You got two hands, better use both of them. You got two hands, better use both of them. You're only half a player with one. You're only half a player with one. One just won't get it done. Can you shoot? Can you go right? Can you go left? Three simple questions. If you can't shoot, then it doesn't matter if you can go right and left. The defensive game plan is a simple one. Cut off your angles to the rim. Sure, your coach can have read picks set for you, lower the screen, get you out in transition before the defense has a chance to set up. And there are a few guards that have had great careers playing this way. But did they maximize their full potential? Tony couldn't shoot when he first came into the league. Westbrook didn't trust his jump shot either. Nor did John Wall. But like the greats before them, they took the time to develop it. Why? Because shooting is the key that opens every door the game has to offer. Take Kyrie, for example. Sure, we all love to see how he dances with the ball and shakes past defenders. But what we fail to see while he's shaking and baking is the inner fear defenders have of him simply raising up and knocking it down. Knocking it down off the dribble, off the catch, off the screen, or simply sizing up a defender from a triple threat position and knocking it down. Shooting is Kyrie's primary threat. From this foundation, he now has the ability to build out the rest of his game. Triple penetration. No, I'm not talking about the shaving and bacon. I'm talking about the basic idea of driving right or left and being able to finish at the rim with either hand. Now, imagine if he never developed his left. Even with his shooting ability, he would be eliminating half of his offensive options every time he touched the ball. And how could Kyrie be the best Kyrie if he could only use one half of Kyrie? What? But Kyrie has all options available to him. He can use the entire court as his canvas to create. This puts the defense in a horrible position. Every option the defense chooses is the wrong one. Give him the jumper, no problem. Push him right, no problem. Force him left, no problem. The game seems easy for him because it is. Taking the time to develop the basic necessities of the game has made it so. Now, from these basic necessities come the spins, the stopping goals, the crosses, the double crosses, the behind the backs, and all other moves that entertain fans and embarrass opponents. Yes, the shaking and baking. But after all that shaking and baking, he still only has three attacking options. Shoot, drive right, drive left. It always comes back to the basics. Kyrie understands that simple is more important than sizzle. Process is more important than performance. Crafting is more important than creating. He understands that doing extraordinary things come from doing the ordinary things over and over and over.